Hi, welcome to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, it's been raining flashes in Godox. After the successful launch of their new Godox V1, now they are ready to upgrade and introduce to you another flash. It's been a tradition apparently in uh, Godox. They pick their successful product and upgrade it. The trend started with the AD600, so they upgraded it to the AD600 Pro. Then they introduced a 400 Pro. Now is the time for them to upgrade their most successful and the most popular flash, the AD200. And here it is, the AD200 Pro. Well, the AD200 Pro, they've not launched it in India, but we have managed to get one in our hand. Apparently, the only one that has come to this country. Yes, so here it is. It looks exactly like the AD200. I think uh, we should just try and compare it with the AD200 because the AD200 is old, no magic. Hey, Aditya, can you pass it out to me? Yes, exactly the same. Well, we'll go through it in detail and we'll tell you uh, how it is different. But first, the important improvement in the AD200 Pro. Well, the first one is the color temperature tolerance. Now it is plus minus 100 Kelvin in comparison to the AD200s, which means the AD200 Pro is likely to give you a better white than the AD200. The second one is a shorter recycling time for the AD200 Pro. At full power, the AD200 Pro recycles at 1.8 seconds instead of 2.1 seconds for the AD200. Third is the accuracy, the flash accuracy. So, the AD200 uh, could deliver the entire range of power through eight steps. Now this has the ninth step. The ninth step is one by 256, which means the 200 Pro can be worked with at very closer range. The next one is the shorter flash duration for the AD200 Pro. Now don't confuse a flash duration with HSS. High speed sync is an entirely different uh, feature altogether and flash duration is the time taken from the beginning of the flash till the end of the flash. So shorter the time, easier it is to freeze a motion. Freeze a motion, say for example a water splash or a jumping shot inside a studio. Now this works only within the cameras on sync speed limit, right? Whereas the HSS can work through the entire speed range of your cameras, hence that is different. The way it works too is different. So the AD200 Pro has a shorter flash duration in comparison to the AD200. The other differences are more physical than feature wise. This is the 200 Pro and this is the 200. Prima facie, there is not much of a big difference. Material is the same, build quality is the same, even uh, the feel of the material too is same. The exterior changes are very functional changes. Uh, first one, we always had trouble holding the AD200 with the uh, boom. The AD200 would start swaying, you know, depending on the weight of the light shaping tool that we have uh, added in front. Now that has uh, changed. In the 200 Pro, there is a physical lock. So the adapter goes in and locks in place. So no more, um, you know, shifting around uh, while doing the shoot. That slot is available on both sides. Now coming around this side, uh, the on-off switch. Uh, the side is similar, but uh, they have taken off the USB connection to the bottom and also have upgraded it to a USB 3 instead of uh, the USB 2 in the earlier version. Yes, the next uh, major difference is at the back side. Now the body, 
extends out a little at the rear to prevent accidental you know pressing of any of these buttons what else it's got a few added uh, function switches so that you can access the function directly instead of going through a couple of steps the other uh, more uh, prominent uh, yep rest everything is exactly like the old ad200 i think like we always say proof of the pudding isn't eating let's go eat some pudding hi impossible is an illusion of course it is. We are today at uh, Multifit Pimplay Saudagar for the AD200 Pro shoot. We have a model here today. You are familiar with him. We just saw him in the V1 shoot and there he is priming up for this shoot. I'm going to be working with the AD200 Pro of course and that's going to be my key light and two AD200s. One on that side the other on the other side they are on uh, uh, stands and uh, they're going to create a nice rim light and i'm going to be shooting uh, there because they are action shots i don't want any you know soft lighting everything needs to be hard so i'm using bare flashes three of them and uh, let's see uh, what happens so what i'm trying to do is to uh, increase the shutter speed so that you know all the background goes really deep and work at an aperture where I get good details all over his body. By the way, if you are buying the AD200, in fact, if you are pre-ordering the AD200 Pro, apparently they are giving away one uh, uh, boom pole only for the initial pre-order uh, ones. Ready? Okay, and nice and keep a very warm, very, very, you know, like contented face and nice. Increase the height so that even his, you know, hair also gets that light. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ready. Bring that in. Nice. You're doing it very happily and casually. Ready and action. Nice. That's a shot. I'll come there. Okay, what we're going to see is uh, an example of short flash duration. Uh, I have set the key light, our AD200 Pro, to a very short flash duration. I'm not really bothered about other lights. Uh, I want his face to be crisp and clean, and he's going to be playing with those ropes there. I don't know what's called though. So lights, perfect there. Sure, and that one. Action. Relax. Action. Relax. Yeah. So now what we're going to try and do is some HSS shots. Evening light falling straight on his face. I cannot work with regular sync speeds. So I'm working at about 1600, one by 1600th of a second. We will first see a shot without the flash, then with the flash. Okay, I'm going to shoot without the flash. Okay, so that's very well, nice defined light perfectly for the highlight now i'm going to switch on and add that flash bring the light a little this way shooting so you come to a gym like this and don't do a shoot with gels 
it'll be a sin. Let's try and do some shots with some colored gels here. We have three different gels working here. Let's see what happens. Okay, one more shot. This time I'm using just one AD200 Pro, which is right there. I'm going to use it to create a nice highlight around him. And that light also will hit the mirror in front and bounce back on his face. Uh, I will work with this ambient light reading with the camera and let's see what happens. So this side will be exposed properly. The, the highlight and the face light will be taken care of by the AD200 Pro. Let's do that shot. Ready, standing by. Okay, so before we get into the final concluding segment, let me tell you that we now have a brand new website. Pixelvillage.com is dedicated to online photography education. So if you are someone looking for online photography learning content, well, then we have news for you. At Pixelvillage.com, we have lined up some of the finest photographers and photography mentors in the country just for you. There are classes uh, in varied subjects, in various durations, different languages. You just pick what you like. And the most interesting thing is, once you buy it, it's yours for life. Also, follow us on Pixel Village Insta page too. Okay, back to AD200 Pro. Let me admit, this is one of the most difficult conclusions that we had to make in uh, Pixel Village reviews. AD200 has been our favorite light. I remember personally recommending this to lots of people. AD200 is still available at an MRP of uh, 24,450 rupees. Of course, the street price is slightly different. And uh, the AD200 Pro is launched at a slightly higher premium price of 30,490 rupees. Of course, again, on the street, uh, it'll be priced a little lower. But the differential price that you're going to pay is going to be for better uh, white balance accuracy, a shorter flash duration, more power range, and a faster recycling time. Of course, there are a few uh, cosmetic and important functional changes too. So the price that you're paying is for those changes. At this point, I can't really resist myself but compare it to the AD600 story. The AD600 was doing very well, but then they introduced the AD600 Pro with better quality standards. Better white balance tolerance, faster recycling, and all those things. Well, of course, it was priced high too. Now, a quality conscious photographer immediately latched on to that and the sale of AD600, I was told, that is dwindling and it's probably going to go out of fashion very soon. The AD200 story is again very similar because the AD200 Pro is offering all those same better qualitatively better feature at a higher price but then you are talking to a wedding photographer. Whether these fine improvements in quality does really matter to them? Well, if it does, then the AD200 Pro is for those photographers. But AD200, I don't think, is going to go away like the AD600. But my doubt is not that. Where is the competition? In fact, Godox has been having a free run for the last couple of years. I can't see any competition in sight. Bye for now.